So once again, we're on Perik Shani, get all from with Bet. This is the very beginning, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, we had done, I think, the first yeah, the two first lines of the Mishnah, right? Yeah, right. We ran notes, but we did done. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of unusual agarita towards the beginning of this parak. You know, agarita is more like machshava, um, uh, which makes it a little challenging at times, but you'll see. Anyways, let's let's start with the Mishnah first, okay? Mm-hmm. So um, why was this placed here? Uh, oh, the last Mishnah and the last Perek talked about a list of items that are unusual and how they're structured. Oh, right, right. And and that was mentioned because one of the items that there's very little that is confusing basis for us is Chagiga. Right. And in enumerating and in enumerate a whole bunch of items, including Chagiga and Meila, and then it said. At the end of that Mishnah, that um, Dinim, Avodos, Taharos, and Tzmeos, Narayos, Yeshlam Amashis Mechu, they have a basis for it. And because the last thing that we mentioned that Mishnah was about Arayos, we have relations, so this Mishnah picks up about the alert uh, discussing Arayos. That's the connection one goes to the other. So it's almost like this is a Mishnah that could have been in the same parak of the previous Mishnah. Okay? So the Mishnah says as follows Ain Darshan be Arayos. So Arayos refers to prohibited relations, and this means that one should not teach to three people about Arayos, about prohibited relations. Well, I'll just explain in a moment what, what, why that's so, what that means. But the um, the Gemara will eventually explain that there are what's called Sisre there are Arayos, which are very clearly enunciated in the Torah. Right, they're found in the laying on Yom Kippur. And uh, in a few other places, who is prohibited, who is incestuous pro- prohibitions. And then there are others that are not clearly found in the Torah, <coughs> but Chazal understand them in different ways that they're included as well. Not rabbinic extensions, but they may even be awesome in the Torah, but they're not found in the Pesukim. One of which we had already seen in the end of the last parak in the Gemara, which was Bito Man Nusaso. Right. right? If you um, um, rape a woman, the, ch- the child or the daughter of that union is not really considered legally a daughter. I know biologically it's your daughter, but legally it's not the same. Yeah, like the Orishas or something like that. Correct. Well, but not, women don't get anyways. But, uh, correct. But, but they have no sons. But, 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 it, but it's still considered a prohibited relationship. Okay? Or there are others, um, the mother of your brother-in-law Okay, is also is a is a prohibited relationship. The mother of your brother-in-law. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, really, it, there's and there's no that's possible. Your that's your that's your wife's mother, no? Could be. No, no, could be. It could be. It could be. 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 Could which they call Sisre Arayos. They're hidden. The one you just gave, the example. These, these are examples, Sisre. right? There's a whole list of Sefetz Ahedrin. Yeah, from Seter. No, these, exactly, are, I see. these are hidden Arayos, and people would not know them. So if you were giving a shear to three people, <coughs> or more it means, then the concern is while you're explaining it to one, okay. the other two people are schmoozing amongst themselves. And they may only hear half a buzzword. They may get it wrong. If you speak to two people, you're the teacher teaching two. So if you speak to one, the other person's got nothing else to do. They didn't have cell phones and texting, right? But So the assumption was the other person would maintain interest. But if you deal with three and above, the people, some of the people may lose interest. And because arayot are so important, not just to issues of genealogy and Mahzerud, but for, for, the, for all of Judaism, it's a basic value. So consequently, Chazal put a break on this, put a, put a rule on this, that when you're teaching about arayot, and specifically not just the black and white ones in the Torah, because anybody can know that. Even if, you feel, if you're reading Pasuk, you know, Pasuk in the Chumash, right. even if you doze off or get distracted, you go back and read the Chumash yourself. Absolutely. But about the ones that are called Sisra arayot, so that so that has to be done with with under three people, okay? And that's going to be the first piece of what we'll talk about. But so that's one. 
And one should not study about the creation of the world. This seems to mean according to, um, you know, like the six the stories of creation in the first chapter of the, of the Torah. Um, so even with one person, um, because the Gemara is going to say that you should, if you're going to derive it yourself, you should work on your own. In other words, you shouldn't have other people explain it to you. If you can't make headway on it, maybe it's not for you. Okay? So in other words, even two people, these are the hard things to understand about. They may be Kabbalistic. They may be um, understanding things that are beyond our ability to understand. And Merkava refers to the Maisi Merkava, the, the chariot as it's called, right? Uh, in the first chapter of Yechaskel, correct? Which, uh, which is extremely difficult to understand because we don't even understand anything, if, even more so when it's couched in this um, anthropomorphisms and angels, what it even kind, what it even really means, okay? We refer to angels every day in our davening, but we don't even think about it, right? Right? Different kind of angels. I forget which... What does it mean? I don't know. Different kind of wings or six wings. No, I mean, mm-hmm. particularly mm-hmm. since the Torah is pretty clear. And then especially, especially the Merkava talks about God sitting in a chariot. I mean, it sounds like, you know, That's a different fine. religion almost, okay? Cholila. Okay, now, so... So you can't study this even by yourself, <coughs> even if you're completely focused. LMK, Ella Ella Im Chacham, maybe in Midaito. Unless you're such a clear, clever person who can understand the Ramazim that they are uh, in the Torah or in the creation story, which, by the way, tends to make you think about, or at least in the first chapter, right, of, of Yechaskel. Now, the question of this may actually refer to maybe the other part as well, but my Sibratius included, uh, that you can only learn it with two people or teach or with one person. All right, and by this, biyachid means teach it to a yachid. So it's really, when it talks about two people, it's one to two. This is really three. When it talks about one person, it's one to one. Mm-hmm. So, um, and and the, the Rambam says, "Maisa um, bracious does not mean actually Maisa bracious the creation story like Lada Mafarshim says pshat, but he calls it a tachachma tivis v'hamaka baschal samitzio. So I guess it really is the nat- the nature of the origin of the universe. Yeah. Yeah. So it does mean the actual chapter one, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it talks like Ramam talks about proto matter, right? Right. from with Ramam. Exactly. Use yeah, the yeah. Greek term that Hakadosh Baruch Hu created this proto matter. From that matter, everything else exploded and came from it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds like. Where do we say this? Where does Ramam writes this? In, 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 Ramban, in the Ramban. In the Ramban. 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 Because it says he created. Uh, Yom uh, Valila, the intermediate Yom Valila. Then it goes on. Uh, Ramam, the Ramam writes it like it's Big Bang. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, well, um, but he t- but he talks about really this this initial creation of matter, this tiny bit of matter. So it was a Greek belief Aristotle had, and from that, it then the matter began to develop and reproduce and expand. Everything and so was forth. created on the first day in a kind of proto right. whatever, and then. No, the first creation is by God, and everything else comes from that. Right. God. right. This is why some of these you know, theories, like uh, Professor Abiezer or Schroeder, they you know they go back to the Rambam and say we're not completely making these things up. The Rambam himself kind of didn't. Rambam, we're talking. About. No, Rambam, Rambam, so Rambam. Maybe maybe the Rambam. So maybe because I have the Rambam, I didn't mm-hmm. know what the Rambam. If you take any of those books, Schroeder's or whatever his name, and you put it next to the Chumash, they never put. Like, here's all the psukim, and here's all what we say it means. They'll pull out a few psukim here and there and give you and write a nice book, but they never, they never, they never explain every because single Because the pasuk. premise is that you can't explain every single pasuk like you explained by Yikra. That the premise of all these books is that the first chapter of Rachis is written in a different format. <laughs> so right, but you, they have a theory, but they, they have a certain theory, whatever it is. Right. I, don't, I don't have a problem with it, but they can't. With their theory, they don't explain no. every pasuk. They'll just pick out a few here and there, and those few look good to fit into the to fit into theory. But when you look at the, but you look, what about this pasuk? What about this yeah. pasuk? There's nothing oh. there. Agreed. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. But their, their their response will be that this is not meant to to read like Yudarshim Sukim for the for the Gemara, for halachic statements or even story statements. Nobody was around. Yeah, but, but these are more symbolic kinds of statements that you learn Ramazim and symbols and and approaches rather than the literalness of 
scripture. A whole large discussion on the six days, six days, and the six eons. Yeah, I know, six I know, million, who knows, a billion, gazillion, what? you got a theory. You should be able to explain most of the psukha. That's you know, a theory. theory. Well, that's a theory. Yeah. Okay. It's not even a theory. So, <laughs> so you know, you, all I can say is you, you, you look, Archie, you look at some of the parts of the Torah that talk about the heavens. Yeah. It's very difficult to teach each pasuk either. No, I understand. We, we had talked about the end of Separshis Mishpatim. It's going to be this coming <coughs> Shabbos, right? About they, oh. when they saw God at the foot of Sinai. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. What carbon was it? What carbon? The whole story itself is very difficult. Now, that's when yeah. people are around. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, imagine yeah, before yeah, the creation okay. of human beings. Who's there to so right? So... Okay. Uh, so, uh, what I want to say is like the, the Raman, let me, say, let me finish the Raman. Raman says that therefore, my Sibracious does not mean the creation story in chapter one. It means a, the, the story of the beginnings of the origins of the universe. That's my Sibracious. That's the Raman used them. Tivis, Bahamaka, Beascholas, Hametzios. Origins of the universe, origins of created matter. And my and Merkava. Kemai Samarkova, Ramam says, it's also not literally Ezekiel chapter 1. This is what the Ramam calls Chachma Lalokis, mm-hmm. which is uh, understanding a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Uh, and really, if we wanted to kind of use a different term, we would use the term probably um, Kabbalah, right? Because Kabbalah is the language to help us understand spiritual, spiritual beings in existence. That's really what Kabbalah is. Torah gives us the language to understand how to serve God. But Kabbalah gives us language to understand the facets and pieces of God. It's very difficult because hard to even understand what God is to understand facets of God. Okay, John Byron always calls it Ahmed. But just a simple question: these these uh, hidden, illicit unions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, why why are some mentioned in the Chumash and some not mentioned? I don't know. I don't know. But that's but that's a question. But any time you have a drasha, how come some sukkim are black and white? How come some sukkim are, are some things are based on drash? Right. So the, the last piece of more we did before you came back, welcome back. Okay, we talked about things how certain certain halachas that were built upon hararim uh, 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 basara, right? That's what a drash is in many cases. Yeah, you can't you can't see it in the pasuk. You have to find the drash. Why some is drash and some is more? Some has a lot of sukkim, some has a little sukkim. That's a, I don't know. Well, goodness, these were serious things. Like I don't have a shabbos, <laughs> like really big things, right? right? right, right. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a lot of halachas that we, a lot of halachas that you take for granted, I take for granted, which there's no pasuk for, mm-hmm. or no pasuk in a simple meaning. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyways, now the the continuation of the Mishnah. So, kolam mistakel biarbar devarim. Anyone who looks and tries to uh, maybe understand, not just simply looks, but tries to delve and comprehend the following things, uh, says uh, well, the, uh, the word in the Mishnah is uh, ratui, means like ra'ui. Ratui loki lobom and lobola olam. It's as if he should not have, worthy should not have come to the world. Okay, and what are the four things? What, what does that mean? If you if you if this is what you're involved in, you will never appreciate what life is, and you will waste your life, and you'll probably probably come to a dead end, and probably become a heretic. That's pretty, probably what it so, means. So why can't you say that about uh, a murderer or somebody? You know, I mean, better shouldn't have been alive. I mean, what's well, maybe who, who, who needs this guy? Because the, this is not the type, this is not an interpersonal. This is more theology. This is a theology Mishnah that talks about different things, about studying, studying the origins of the universe, studying Kabbalah, studying um, studying Arayos that you can't see, and as well, these are four things. This almost looks like it should be in Perkei Avos. This is the kind of Mishnah here. Yeah. Four things that are really the theology is so difficult that you really never come to an answer. And if you're going to get hung up on trying to determine an answer, you're going to fall into a big hole because you can't answer these things completely. The, the, the language is very strong. Like you, shouldn't, you shouldn't have been created. Right, right. I, I say that about other people. Oh. Ra'oi. Oh. I don't know where it comes from. Oh. Oh. Why don't they say that about murderers or you know, other guys? Because maybe a murderer should, should, can do change. Maybe a murderer can... I don't know. There's, that's, exactly. that's a question about good and so evil. maybe this guy's going to change. You know, I mean, like, why, why do we condemn this guy? And we don't it's condemn not people that are doing This is not a guy. This is giving you a word of advice. As you, in other words, you're not a murderer. You're a good guy. But if, if you're going to get stuck up and all that you're going to study is, you're not going to study Masech al You're going to study about the what existed before the world was created. There's no end to it. The answer is because you don't know. Because the the crea- well, what was there before God said Barah? Uh, what existed? Nothing. You're not supposed to look. Nothing or everything. You're not supposed to look. Now, what what came first? What came first? The creation of the world or the Torah? 
The Torah pre exists the pre existing world. What does that mean, the Torah pre existing world? What existed? So Major says it was it was black fire on white fire. It wasn't a physical Torah. So what was there? What existed? What could be? Torah in God's mind. But what about the Torah's Torah? So actually the Ramban, I think this is the Ramban for sure. The Ramban says that what there was, was the entire Torah is the shame, is the shameless of Hashem. Okay, in other words, in one form it was like, oh, now how we understand that is because we've broken up the letters into different words. But oh, the whole Torah, all but the whole, like the whole Torah together is Shem Hashem, which, which, which is why if you read a word in the Torah wrong, you got to go back and say it again. Not that you, not that you, that you misread the Torah. Sorry. Now you left the word out. You kind of, you kind of miss. You called God by the wrong name. So how it had it right? So it, it was like you have to think of one long, one long word with like all these thousands and thousands of letters. In fact, the Ramban, the Ramban says gives one example. Because you really can't give the examples all the way through. He says, the, what, the, think, think of the first word, Reish is Bara Lokim, uh-huh. the first three words. So he says, you could also read it, Bara, let's see, Bara Sheyis Bara. Oh. Okay, the Reish is Bara, but if it's all one letter with no break in the middle, right. Bara Sheyis Bara. So when, when I, before the world that existed, existed the way it exists, didn't exist on paper, right. exists in some spiritual form, and HaKadosh Baruch then created the world and began writing it down into different divisions so you could read it. That's how the Ramban begins to try to explain what was before. What was before the world was created? I don't know. God was there. What, God was there. What, what, does does mean? Mean? Right. what does that mean? What does it mean? Right. Right. I mean, all, 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 all societies try to answer this question. Is right. that an Adon Olam? Correct. So what? So, we, so that, God exists. Yeah. God is a spiritual. Being. What existed in the world? Nothing. Okay. Why did anything? Well, so sorry. the scientists come up with this Big Bang. Uh, no, no, no. Now, no but no, what was before, before the Big Bang? Big, so, so what's who's that character? I can't stand that. Um, the big shot, you know. Okay. Huh? He said it's a singularity, and you can't say what was before. A singularity means the shim. That's that's the of thing he's, you know that he's not religious, this guy. No, I know, but that's what he says. Before you can't know it was everything. So I'm saying all societies have a beginning, but 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 every beginning, how did the beginning start? I forget which which group of Aboriginals had this idea. There was a big turtle that showed Absolutely. up. A big turtle, then this and yes, this and yes, this. Yes. Where did big turtle come from? Uh-huh. Okay, so, so these are all beyond the ability to comprehend this, because all we know, remember, we live in a three-dimensional world. The fourth dimension is, is time. Spirituality is like a fifth dimension. Now you get glimpses of it, of spiritual feelings. But what exists in, in a world that has none of these dimensions? You can't understand it. <coughs> so, so what was the gist I want to write down? You said before, Kol HaTorah is Shem Hashem? What did you say? So the Ramban says that the entire Torah which existed before was the Shem, the Shem Hashem. It means, Hashem. now does it mean it's all the Shem of Hashem together? Is it a different piece of Shem Hashem? But the Ramban says that's why, I think it's the Ramban who says that's why if you make a mistake laning, right? You have to, it's, it's puzzled. Laning is wrong. Everybody makes a big deal about it. It's not just you read the wrong word. You read, you kind of missed, you called God the wrong name. But sometimes there's different gears. There's different gears as we have. Oh, okay, yeah. But okay, most yeah, of what we have right. Okay, this is why you're not now, supposed to look at There we go. At any rate, so therefore, what, should, what are the four things? One is mala mala. What's above, above the heavens? Okay, what, what now well, there were seven heavens, what heaven do we live in? What the closest heaven is the one that we can see, but there are seven heavens that Kaddish Baruch who goes up and down. The, you know what? These are all their metaphor. These are all metaphorical, but for example, the reason the reason that we say um, that we should say um uh slichas in the latter part of the night is because that's why Kaddish Baruch Hu is coming through the heaven and closest the closest heaven to the world. So Kaddish Baruch Hu will hear our tefillos. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay. Okay. But Chazal understood the heavens that there were different different parts. There was I think a, they really thought there were levels of spheres. Of course they were. When one had the stars, one had different the things. Yes. 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 They were actual spheres. We can't go by their more than ten spheres. Okay. Okay. It's more than just ten spheres. Oh, okay. It's about the actual heavens themselves. Mala 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 mata. What's below the earth? Yeah, once below the earth, this is, of course, people probably thought the world was flat in those right. days. Well, well, well yeah. Kahelis says 
the sun goes around and goes underneath. Yeah. Yes. So you were talking to the fingers underneath. Yeah. 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 We saw it in Masaka Rosh Hashanah. Do you remember? It's so a mind show. Mind show. Yeah, mind show. We talked about yeah. the sun. Because they heat the heat with the sun. Why would the earth? Because they believe the sun went around, went underneath. Yeah. Either the sun went underneath or the sun went actually above. There were two or two opinions. Oh, okay. They might go right, went above and think of it going backstage and coming around. Okay, okay. So okay. What was the thing you were learning? Well, I'm sure. Yes. So that's why they wanted. That's why they wanted to burn Galileo when he yeah. said the world was round. This was heretical. Was not it was not our boys. We didn't want to burn them. I'm saying, but this was basic, <laughs> basic belief in the entire world. You know, there was a son of David Shear in the Kolel. I forget where he was. A year or so ago, and he was talking about. Uh, astronomy and dates and so on, and he said, "There's no question. Chazal knew that the world was round. That's not true. true. That's true. No. Because there's That's no not way. Not true. There's no way they could have come up with the calculations, the calculations on, the, on the assumption <laughs> that the Earth is round. Absolutely. They knew the Earth was round. Look at that. I don't know. They definitely uh, knew the Earth was round. No. Yes. yes. When we learned it, we learned it in Rosh Hashanah. Our school has a picture of a of a square cube. That's what Chazal believed. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe the bottom, see, this is why you shouldn't study Malamato. But, but of course, in the ancient world, people did not know what is below, what is, what is below the earth. Okay. What's the shape of the earth on his shoulders? Brown. Right. Okay, so there, there are two things we don't confuse them. One is whether the earth is round, and the other is whether the earth goes around the sun or the sun goes around the earth. That's, right. a, whole, that's a very that's different story. Right. Right. Yes, yeah, because right. whoever it was, but no one said, was around, said the sun goes around the, they knew the earth goes around the sun, they hung up in the, the church. I forget what it was. Right. Kepler or someone. Yep. Okay, so Mala Mala. So first is Mala Mala. Second is Mala Mala, Mala Mata. Mala Fnim. So Mala Fnim is what was before creation. Umal Achor, what's going to happen at the end of time, Bachris Yomim. Okay? So these are not, according to this Mishnah, this is not within the ability of human beings to begin to understand. Um, that we can, we can study only as far as the creation, but pre creation, we can't really study. The Gemara is going to actually um, okay, quote the Pasuk, says, Kishi al Nali Amim Rishonim. You're going to ask about the first days. Lemin Hayom, Asher Yibastal Agai. But it starts by, you will ask from the, fir- the beginning of the first days. Yamim Rishonim, it starts the first days of the created world. Prior to that, you can't figure it out. Okay? All right, now that's uh, that's the next piece. Uh, of I'm yummy. We, we get into that in many many tomorrows, you know. Yes, we do, and people have kind of gotten very dis- disenchanted by trying to figure out too much after it's yummy. You're right. I agree. We, but, but li- there, but we live in a world. So every time people get depressed, there's eschatology. No, but right? there at least we want Mashiach. They'll bring Mashiach. Mashiach. But but but, but th- th- in other words, they're not following their own advice. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I guess Achim Sayyami is what's going to happen after the end of time. After the, I think that's after Achim right. Okay. In other words, whatever you understand as Mashiach is a finite time. Whatever age, whatever year he's going to come, that's a finite. Whether this year, plus the year 6,000, more or less, okay? That's finite. What happens after Mashiach comes and you finally run out of years? Somewhere it goes out. Somewhere the big light bulb is going to go out on the sun. Absolutely. What's going to happen? Who knows? Okay. We don't think that far, right? We're trying to think of... You don't think that far. Trudeau worries about it. Well, Trudeau does. What are you worried about? All right. Yeah. It's just a word that he ran. Correct. Okay, so the last part is V'chosh L'chosh L'chosh Kono. A person who's not concerned about the honor of his creator. Uh, so as if to say, like, a um, person doesn't think God is there. Like, a uh, person will sin in private. A person won't sin in public because he's afraid of public opinion. He's afraid of man. But in, in, in private, he doesn't really he's care. He's afraid of man. He's not afraid of God. Correct. Correct. Same theme as in the same words as the previous part of the mission. And this one, it says... Uh, it says the same word here, Ratui, right? Ratui, which means mm-hmm. Ratui. Uh, it's as if he should not have come, been created in the world, and, um, okay. 
Um, but you know, it goes against the idea that everybody has a purpose. Even even the terrible mm-hmm. people have a purpose, right? God has a purpose for everybody. He's mm-hmm. saying, oh, God made a mistake. He, he shouldn't have created this guy in the first place. It doesn't make sense. Well, it's not saying good thing. It's saying that you, it, you will end up in a dead end that you won't really... You won't yeah, really well, he, he, he should say that. He puts mm-hmm. those words that are... He's trying to give you good advice. Come on, give us stuff. He's trying to give you good, good advice. advice. The guy, you know? yeah. Why yeah. give it to these yeah. guys? Yeah. Yeah. These guys seem to be kind of harmless compared to the, the real <laughs> big guys. The real <laughs> He shouldn't be created. No, 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 okay, no, 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 but Hitler shouldn't be created for crying out loud. Okay, no. no. Obama shouldn't be created. How's that one? <laughs> the, the, Rambam, the Rambam, by the way, seems to say Kono is referring to his own intellect. Like, if you don't know the extent of what you can think out and know what your limits are, like, you know, know the limit and play within it. If you don't know your limits, then you really, sh- um, better you should have been created because a man is an intellectual thinking person, and every person's intellect reaches a certain finite limit. This, this yeah. is, well, maybe that's a better thing. Maybe he's just saying "achan is vague." Is what say, he means. say that. Right. Well, it's a fancy way of saying "achan is vague." Now, um, Ra- Rashi, Rashi interprets. Uh, if, you, if you look at some of the Rashi's on to the Mishnah, Rashi kind of gives you some of the interpretations that he understands it. So, for example, mm-hmm. when he talks about the four things. So, Ma'ala Ma'ala, what's above, this is the fourth line or fifth line of Rashi. Rashi says, Mirakia shall Rashi Achayot. So, the Rakia that's above the angels that are surrounding the, the, the chariot. Okay? Ma'ala Mata, what's below them, Ma'ala Fnim, is what's uh, outside the, um, the Rakia to the east, and Ma'ala Horus to the west. This really goes back to the study of the Merkava. Okay? Um, and then there's a long ex- ex- part that's added to Rashi. Okay? Um, Okay, let's go to Mishnah. Let's go to Gemara. So, um, I'm not sure I understand the first piece of the Gemara, but I think I'll, I think I do. Okay, so the Gemara says Amr Baresha. This is about the low. You can't study the Merkava Biyachid. Mm-hmm. So the Gemara says I think the way the Gemara seems to be stuck in trying to where to put where do you put the comma in the Mishnah. It says you can't lo- you can't learn Darius with three. You can't learn Maisibrachis with two. You can't learn Merkava with one. Right. Then it says. But unless you're a person who's got wisdom, right. what's that referring to? So Amr Baresh of Lob Merkava Biyachid, Bahadur Amr Elam Kena Yachachma Maybe Naita. First you say you can't study it with one person, mm-hmm. then it says unless the person is was wise. So I'm not quite sure what the question is. Maybe the, I don't know if the question is is there a contradiction in the in the phraseology of the mission? Either you can't or you can. Or is the uh, is the Gemara saying that basically if you who else would study Maisim Merkava? But a person who was wise, why do you have to say it? The Gemara answer is basically Vahachi Kamra, Ain Darshan Baraz Vashlosha, Vlob Maisa Bresha Slashnaim, Vlob Maisa Merkava Liachet, Elam Ken Hoya Chacham, Umevi Midaito. I think what the Gemara is trying to answer is that the clause at the end is referring to all three. Okay, so in other words, yeah. all of the above, you shouldn't study if, you, if you're not able to think this out. And then nonetheless, with Arise, you can't study more than three, Bresha is more than two, and Maisa and Merkava, and Maisa Merkava with one person. Okay. All right, now, so now the next part of the, of the mission said, Endorshim by Arias Bishlosha, or why you shouldn't study Arias with three people. So the Gemara tries to understand why. What, what's the wrong? I explained you the answer already about Sister Arias. Mm-hmm. The Gemara has to go through a process to reach that. So Endorshim by Arias Bishlosha, my timer. Elema, you know, the Gemara likes to find Psukim to kind of tell you things. Elema Mishim Dechsiv. It says, This is where the Arias are found in the end of Parshas Achlemot, I believe. Ish Ish El Kol She'er Basarol Lo Tzikrubu L'Galo Sarval. So, Ish Ish is a double terminology. I should have said, Ish El Kol She'er Basarol Lo Tzikrubu L'Galo Sarval. A person next to his relative shouldn't bear his flesh because shouldn't have relations. What's Ish Ish? So the Gemara says, Ish Ish is Trey, a person to person, She'er Basarol, is, is you shouldn't come close to bearing your uh, your nakedness. That's another person. Right. So the drush, which is really very far fetched, seems to talk about three people. So uh-huh. in, other, in other words, what we're saying is that the the, the parak itself that talks about arayos introduces itself by using three times. Looks like they're three people: the mm-hmm. person, the person, and 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 displaying your nakedness. It means there's got to be someone else there. You're displaying your nakedness too. So there are three people there. So it means three people you see become intertwined in the study of arayos. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's obviously not the shot of why it says you got it correct. It's oh, not yeah. the shot. Obviously right? not. Yeah. Now. 
you could normally say that's not the pshat, or you could say if this is if the if your argument is correct, then this ought to appear every time you have ishish. Correct. If right. ishish is meant to tell me that one person plus one person, and then you have the end of the pasuk is a third person, so anytime this comes up, it should be like that. The Gemara says, and and let's just finish up the drash. So the Gemara says that. Um, you shouldn't learn to um, to uncover the, the nakedness, uncover the pshat of what arayas are with three people, with ish plus ish plus legalo zerva. Right. Okay. So that's the drasha. So the Gemara says, if that's the case, el meyata dechsiv, ish ish ki kalel elokav. Okay, it says in, uh, in, in the in Vayikra, a little bit later on, a person who curses God, most you must, but the, you, the, so you should be the same thing, a person, a person, and you kalel, curse. So I mean, Maybe it should only be killed if there are three people. One person plus one person plus the person who curses. No one ever said that. If you curse God's name, it's a culpable offense. Or ish ish a shei A person who would give his offspring to the fire god Molech. So once again, ish ish, and then yitemi zaro should be three people. It should only be culpable if you were three people involved in this. Hachinami. Ella, Ella, what does ish ish come to tell me? Ish ish still is a drash. Right. You may not like the drash it's being used for, but it's a drash of some sort. This comes to tell me that ish ish. This makes sense because ish ish is a person, right? But it's a ra. But it's like what what of course really means. These are people that, you know, are not necessarily believers in God. They're idol worshippers. Yeah, yeah. What about Nonetheless, that these people are still included in the prohibition. God is God in his Torah wrote a prohibition that these people can't curse God and these people can't worship idols. No, they don't have to be Jews. One of the Shiva Mitzvah Sinai Noach is about, you know, worshiping a God or believing in a God or not worshiping up on the Zorah. So, 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 you don't need the issues for that. That's the seven laws. Um, get this maybe maybe this for culpability. But I maybe this culpability. Culpable. But, but I'm saying, but but all I'm saying is, it's still a far fetched kind of drush, and it's even more far fetched in our mind to assume the Torah is kind of giving um, uh, warnings yeah. and prohibitions to people who don't buy into the system. Right by saying yish yish. By saying that a, that a, that a non Jew is prohibited to worship idols. If he wasn't worshiping idols, he'd be a Jew. Not necessarily. So the answer is, of course, not necessarily. Right? He g- would give up idols, and he'd become someone like I don't know, like a Jethro, or uh, or a believer in, in, in monotheism, or um, what is the term Dennis Prager uses? Ethical monotheist. He talks about Judaism. I'm saying, but if you are if you are a a non a non a non Jew who does who believes one God, you're an ethical monotheist. You're not Jewish. So, but I'm saying just for us, the whole Torah was given to the Jewish people. No one else accepted it. What does it really mean? But, but having said that, it makes sense. Ish, ish. A person, a person. Forget, forget about the end of the pasuk. It means you're including you who are people and other people who are people. Because otherwise it would be not ish, ish, but baratem or b'nei Yisrael or achichem or something. Well, when you raised before those three people, I thought maybe, maybe one drush is, no, we're talking about the one who commits the offense. And maybe two witnesses. That's a possibility. Correct. That's I mean, then you could say... Right. So so the way that the previous drash kind of took it away from the actual offense, understood the word legalos erva means to exp- expound upon, elucidate, and clarify what the laws of arayos are. Right. And that is prohibited if you have ish plus ish plus a person who is a legalos erva. Yeah. Yeah. They're all far-fetched drushes. I agree, but in other words, but but this uh, the drush that we rejected is more far-fetched, and this one is less far-fetched. And this and the, and the key here is that the the, the new far-fetched drush is how we understand ishish ki kalalohav and ishish sheitem is al morach. So if that's the case, al nami, al nami mi So therefore, our our pasuk ishish shall call share basaral legal. Would be there, me boyle is needed. Comes to tell me that non Jews are prohibited in incestuous relations the same way Jews are. So the Torah opens up in the end of Parshas Achrei with this the whole chapter about, about Arayos with Ish Ish to say it's not just you guys. 
It's not just Jewish people, it's universal. Ish, people, anyone well, is included. The, in the laws of in, the idea of incest is quite universal. Not necessarily the same Correct. specifics, but the general Correct. ideas are Correct, clear. agreed. Yes, yes. right, correct. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so the Gemara says, so we have a different Jvash, also not so um, easy. El Amirachsim says, Ushmartem et Mishmarti, Levalti Asos Mechukos Hatoivos Asher Nasulaf Nechem. This is the end of the chapter about Arayos. And God warns that you should keep my commandments, keep my watchings, and you shouldn't go back to do all the toivos, the um, abominations that nations did. So, so how do we darshan it? Ushmartem, you will watch. That's in Lashon Rabim. So it means two people are watching. Right. Okay, more than one watcher. One watcher will be Ushmarta. Mm -hmm. And Mishmarti uh, is referring to another person. Also, a fancy full drash. Nobody's really assuming this, this is going to be accepted and stand up. So, the Amrachmana, so in other words, if you have two plus one, ushmartem, plus a person who's doing mishmarti, then you can't, you can't not carry out the chukos, but expound and expand upon what this chukos atoyvos are. That's the same, same kind of drash as ish ish, only it's a different pasuk from the end of the parsha about Arayos. You see, somehow they had this masora, it looks like, that it was the double words and three people learned from repetitive words in the pasuk. <laughs> they're trying to experiment with what it fits into. So Gemara says, wait, wait, but if, if you're telling me the Ushmartim is coming to tell me two people, right, and then you're going to have a noun is going to make it a third person, what about Ushmartim as a Shabbos? And Ushmartem is Mishmer Sakodesh. So all of these Ushmartems and follows by a noun should be Ushmartem, two people. Shabbos is the object of keeping Shabbos. You need three people to keep Shabbos, or three people to study Shabbos, I should say, or three people to, to study about making matzah. And so forth and so on. So hachanami. So that. So if, if that's the case, if you're going to work with this word, should should apply universally. Ella, and here comes what we said before. Ella amravashi my ein darshim biarayos bishlosha. What is the reason why we can't study arayos with three ein darshim bisisre arayos? And it should be lishlosha, right? They should, they should make it lishlosha, not bishlosha. So you can darshan the three, the hidden, uh, the hidden types of arayos that are not found there um, uh, in, in uh, with three. My time up. Svarahu. So the reason is that not, it's not a pasuk; it's a, simply svara. Be, which is what I told you before. Be tre kiasve kame rabaihu. When two people tre are two people are sitting, a tiv is sitting before the rebbe. Chad shokel v'tari behade rabbe. One is shokel v'tari. One is discussing things with his rabbi. The idach matzle udne legemara. And the other person is, um, I guess, focusing upon the tradition. No, he can't go too far off field. Plus, okay, if there are three people, Chad Shok of Atari Bahadi Rabbi, one person is going to be busy asking Rabbi questions. Bahana Tre, Shak Levatari Bahadadi. The other two people are going to be talking amongst themselves. The Lo Yadi might come a rabbi who. They won't know what the rabbi said. The Asi La Mishre Isura Ba'arayos. And they're kind of come to say that that which is prohibited in Arayos is going to be permitted. So therefore, when it comes to the Sisra Arayos, the special rule, you couldn't study with three people. Two people you could study with, but not three. The obvious question of the Gemara is, there should be anything. Yehachi kola Torah nami, kola Torah nami, the entire Torah should be the same prohibition. If we're afraid people's minds are going to wander, it should be Shabbos, Kashrus, whatever. Every halacha should be have less than three people. So the Gemara says, Arayos Shani, studying Arayos is different. The Amar Mar, when it comes to two sins, we our Yitzhar plays big tricks on us because we the default is we want them. People want money because they feel money buys happiness. People want Arayos because it's a pleasurable act. So therefore, it automatically draws you. Um, other other sins, there's no there's no fiscal gain. 
right? So you so you don't eat kosher. You eat, so you don't eat non kosher. So you don't eat kosher. What do you gain? You eat non kosher. But, but it's almost the same food. I mean, you can find a it's reason why it looks the same. It could look the same, right? Mm-hmm. But it's not the same draw. It's mm-hmm. not the same draw. It's not the same kind of attraction. That 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 these are basic basic things: money and sexuality. Correct. Okay. I don't know. You open the paper every day. You see great people. They're either indicted for corruption, they're indicted right. for corruption, or sexuality, or, or sexual sins. Uh-huh. Doesn't make a difference, right? Again and again and again and again. And the answer is they can't help themselves. Well, they can't help themselves, but they they you didn't. They want to refuse to. Yeah. He's saying it. a natural born whatever tendency. Because right. so these are natural born tendencies, isn't it? Okay. okay. So, so they got to move. Okay, probably. Okay. So, so therefore, so because these are natural born tendencies, therefore, uh, if that's the case, so therefore you have to be very careful that people listen, because they don't listen carefully. The natural born tendency will t- will have them do it, sin because they weren't listening. So the default is the per- if the person doesn't know what it is or misunderstands what it is, he will he will sin much easier. Now the one final piece of the Gemara is okay. So we've reduced it from all the other type of type of falafik shears. We say it's only two issues. One is gazel, the other is arayos. So, well, we never say that you can't teach the laws of gazela. That you need less than three people. Ah, yeah. So the Gemara says, okay. So ihachi um, gazel nami. So the gazel should be the same rule. Arayos, you need under three. So gazel should be under three. So the Gemara says, very, very true. Arayos bein b'fanav bein shaloh b'fanav nafshe yitzre. When it comes to arayos, the urge, the Yitzhahara urge is so strong that it happens all the time. Others, regardless of whether the opportunity presents itself or not, that urge, it's an, it's an instinctive urge for ensuring the vitality of the world. And so therefore, it's, it's constant. Whether or not there is, an, there is a possibility to sin with arayos. So even studying an arayos, right, one can be tended to hear things that are wrong or not hear things that are right. But gezel, b'fan of nafshe yitzrei, shalom b'fan of l'nafshe, l'nafshe yitzrei. When it comes to if the opportunity presents itself, then you may sin. If the opportunity doesn't present itself, you're not going to sin. You're not going to go out and rob a bank. Most people won't rob a bank. Most people won't take what's not theirs. All these cases of corruption are they were put in situations where it was so easy. They were, they were, they were positions of responsibility. No one was watching them. They were trusted, or they misused that trust. So, so was the, so was the, the issue about three because of what is to be discussed, what 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 which which illicit unions are going to be discussed, or is it because and that will lead to a type of because no it's to be no under you, discussion no because you won't listen carefully. You may think you may misunderstand what I say. I'll oh. say that I don't know, but a bitome anusoso is prohibited, right? I might hear and you it say no. You say, oh, I wasn't listening. You'd be busy on the right, and they say, oh, bitome anusoso is mutar. Okay, I heard it. Okay, right, I'm going after. Right. Quick, as opposed to saying that you can't rob a bank, you're not going to hear that you could rob a bank. Okay. So because, so therefore, yes, there is a drive. There is a drive for, for sexual sins. There is a drive for monetary aggrandizement. And both, <coughs> both fuel the world. Right? The Gemara says that HaKadosh Baruch who built these Yetzirahs in us, you know, because otherwise no one would go out and make Parnassah, no one would have anything to eat, right. and the world would not be created. The world okay. would be a dead end. Isn't the Gemara say what the story took, away, it, took right? away sexual drive for no one... Uh, and no. That was it. Day, yeah, that was it. That was it. So... So I'm saying, but the difference between the two is that one is one is a much stronger drive, and it's really true. And one is a much stronger drive, and therefore, because it's a much stronger drive, so Chazal put this kabash and said, if you're studying, if you're studying Sisrei Arayos, by the way, not all Arayos. In other words, if you're reading it black and white in the Torah, this is prohibited, this is prohibited, this is prohibited. There's nothing wrong with doing it in large numbers. But if you're going to study the ones that are studied by Joshos, Right, and especially in a world that didn't have printed Gemaras, they had to sit and listen to the share, so that could create a problem. You may think that it's not so bad, or you may think that only this kind of relationship and that kind of, and not not another kind of relationship. Whereas monetary, because the drive is less, if it's not in front of you, right? Okay, it's going to be, it's not a, not that difficult, or not that not that much of a pull. Okay, 
So the bottom line is what, when it says in Darshim Arayas Bishlosha refers to Sisre Arayas, the uniqueness of these examples, which are not found directly in directly in the Pesukim of the Torah, but are found through different kinds of drushas to understand that. Okay, um, correct. And they're all found by Sefer Sanhedrin. All right. So the next part of the mission was. Can we just go back? It says in Darshim Arayas Bishlosha. Right, it should be like Lishlo show. Rashi says the first time, Shanaim Vahu. Okay, so that's what Rashi says, but most we show him say it means oh. one to three. Oh, I see, okay, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Well, Especially when you explain it like later in the, <coughs> in the Gemara, they just said you're, well, you're not going to pay attention. Right. Yeah. You see, from the way the Gemara understands it, it's really the, there, there are three people, and one person is asking the questions, two people are discussing among themselves. So I'm not sure what oh, Rashi. Yes, yes. Right. Oh. I'm not sure what Rashi says is two. It's, it's only two, two and him. Right. It's, does not, not does not appear to be the shot of what the Gemara is. Okay. okay. It's a good point. Mm. Okay. But it, but it means once again, if you accept that, that it means all the others are the number of talmidim. So when it says, for example, when you can't study mice and recover biyachid, it means a teacher teaching a student. When it says you can't study mice bracious with two, it means a teacher and two students. So so if you haven't got a teacher, how are you how are you learning this? So so mice recover mice recover would mean therefore. When you are, when you, when you're able to, if you have the ability to, that's the caveat nigmar. Except the person who is shesheino may be daito, and kenei yachachol may be midaito. You're right. I forget when our scroll uh, translates Yecheskel, I forget what they do for the first chapter. Uh, they may not translate. I think they don't translate or something. They don't translate. Or translate allegorically. Do shir shir. I think they don't translate. I don't remember now. <laughs> they translate shir shir. It's it's allegory. It's nothing to do with the language. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But in the that, bottom, okay. in the bottom, they give they give in the bottom like, on, the, on the top. They'll give you their allegorical translation. On the bottom, they'll give you the literal. Really? Like when the Mephorshim, yeah. Look at yeah. the on the top. It Not doesn't. The one I have, like this. Well, underneath, look at the Mephorshim. Like if you have the. Oh, the I don't have it. Yeah, yeah. So the ones in the Mephorshim. So I'm trying to remember because Archibald has like the individual volumes. I'm trying to remember in the individual volume when you ask what they do. Uh, something tells me they didn't translate it. Okay. Is it a, they don't want to be. I can look they, at the, they don't want to cause people to study my Simakova. I can look in the um, in the article Tanakh. They'd be in there. They would it would not be. I don't know. I'll see the article Tanakh. I have that. Okay. I don't have it. Study so you can study so All right. Yeah, Anyways. Um, I didn't learn the first one. Yeah. Look, the the, tr- the truth is, we read the, we read the first chapter of Yecheskel on. I absolutely. Shuvus. Yeah. Absolutely. Shuvus. So we don't shy away from it. Absolutely. Even if we don't understand it. That's it. You don't understand it. Wheels. Yeah. 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 How do you know that you can't you can't study my sabracious as a teacher with two students? The Tanara Banan says Kishal no Kishal no the Menayom Asher Okay, so Moshe actually does not appear to be talking about deep theology. Yeah. Moshe is talking about the beginnings of the, of themselves as a people. Yeah. And then it goes back and talks about in Dvarm Dal, and I believe it talks about Harsinai again. So Moshe is talking about if you last back when you came out from Mitzrayim and you said all the miracles and so forth and so on, this is we're now reviewing the story with you, says Moshe. But Chazal understand this very literally, Yamim Rishonim, so uh, the first days, the early cre- creation story days, Yachid Shoel Vien Shnaim Shalim. Okay, one, to, one can ask, and two can ask, because that's Ki She'al Na, She'al Lashon Yachid. Uh, maybe one person can ask his Rebbe, but he, and he can even ask him before the world was created. So the passage is, Adam So, so it's talk about the day that God created the man on the world. So that's when you can ask from, but not before that. 
Maybe you shouldn't ask what happened after the creation story. Talmud Lomar, Liyamim Rishonim. Okay, so you can ask, Asher Hayula Fanecha. So you can ask from the beginning of time, when God created the world, and even after he created the world. So not just from the day when he created right. the Adam, he's saying? So which is the one that's permitted? Only from the time of Adam, which is the only one that says Shishi, or... Which means only, the, only or when it says, back Asher bar lemin hayom, Asher bar al him Adam. Correct. Right. So you right. can ask from any time, from the beginning of the creation of Adam. Right, but not the first uh, five days. Well, I, don't know if it, I don't know if it means so that or it the means... means the yom asher so what's the fanecha mean before... Yeah, but it means like, I don't know if it means only the days number six in creation. Maybe I, I don't say that. I'm trying to figure out what it does mean when it says the only I share a yule fanecha. Yeah, uh, where's the pasuk? Yeah. Did you? It says here. Yeah, so that sounds like before men were created. That's before you, right? Uh, right. Um, what pasuk is there? Is allowed to inquire even about the days that preceded men? Oh, he is allowed. Beginning with the first day of creation. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 So, so that's what it says here. Okay. So you can't do that. He says you could. He says you can. Oh, with Lamar, before man, he said we were learning five that five you days. can do it even the first five days. I see. Yachol lo yisha. So some people could have thought that you could only do it from the time that humans were created. He's saying, yeah. but. It's logical that you can, like in the gracious itself, in okay. a lot of detail about the first five minutes. Absolutely. 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 God's happy he's not. Uh, I didn't say no. I agree with you. Seems like that. All right, so. Um, Right. Um, the, Mo, Moshe, is, Moshe is giving reproof from Parshas Veschanan. Um, and he says, you know, you're going to, you'll come a time you're going to start making idols and deal corruptly with Hashem and your, and your children. You have children, children's children. And if that's the case, the Kaddish Baruch will destroy you and scatter you around the world. And you'll be few among the nations. You'll serve God's, the work of men's hand, which is wooden stone. You're not going to seek HaKadosh Baruch Hu and so forth and so on. Um, God's not going to forsake you. He's not going to destroy you because he promised he's going to keep you. Okay, this is what Moshe says. This is going to happen in the future. Uh, and he says, and then he says, Ki shall know le If you ask now about the days of the past, which were in the past, which were before you, the minhayom asher baral him adam al aretz lemitzeh shmei vatkitzeh shmeiim. Since the day that God made man on the earth, and from one side of heaven to the other, haniyak hadavar gadol zeh on the shmak mos. Or anything been so great as you saw. It's Sinai. Hashama am kol Elohim at the very top of each kasher shmart or tava yachid. Any other nation hear God speak and lived? Oh, hani salakim lavol akach and the goy mikar goy. Or did you ever see where God, uh, where you the most tested God to take one nation out from another nation? Goy mikar goy with masot otot mofsim machamav yachazak of zuan atuya boring gedolim kasher asal lachem Hashem lekechem mitzvah leinecha. Did you ever see that before? So, you know, in other words, I'm telling you, you're going to do this, but you're kind of blowing it because how could you even think to do this? Mm-hmm. Because if you think back, how could you even ever think that you're going to turn away? Uh, right, this is you. Um, you have seen to learn. Correct. You have seen to know, to know that Hashem is the Hashem of Kim. There's none other beyond, beyond beside Him. And when Hashem is Mechad Kolol Yasveka, when Zohar Shavachad Dishag Dod Dvar Dvar Shmat Mitochesh, He showed you the fire and He tested you with the water and everything else from the ancient and so forth, etc., etc., etc. And therefore, keep as mitzvos and so forth and so on. You're going to come to the land which you'll live happily ever after. Lamat Tovachim Emal Adma. So Moshe uses this idea to say that go back in time. Mm-hmm. Has there ever been a, a case yeah. like Harsinai from the creation of the world? Right. The answer is a rhetorical question. No. Right. And if that's the case, how could you ever do this in the future? Mm-hmm. The Chazal understands to me that therefore you can, if you were going to ask, you can go back to the beginning of time, mm-hmm. right? But you can't go back before that. So first of all, if you're going to go back to the beginning of time, it's only Yachid. Second of all, before the creation of the world, you can't. It's only up to the Minayom HaShabor Adam um, we, what about after the creation? So it says, Leomim Rishonim, the first days includes after the creation. Asher, and then let's go back to Agmar. Asher Hayula Fanecha. Yochel, so what was before you? Yochel Yishal Adam Alamala Malamata Malafni Malachar. 
So maybe you should ask what's above, what's below, what's before, what's afterwards. Talmud Lomar, from one end to the other end of the heaven, which is basically from east to west, which means, uh, you can ask them from the horizon, one horizon to the other horizon, but you can't ask anything above, above and beyond, below that. Okay. Um, now, and then, so the word says, okay, if that's the case, um, so Gmar says, now that we finally came to a conclusion of the end of this passage says you can ask from one end of the heaven to the other end of the heaven. So why do you have to tell me about from the time that God made the world? I can o- you can only ask about a physical world. The moment that God concludes the possible, you say you can ask from one end of the heaven to the other end of the heaven, one end of the sky to the other end of the sky, before there was a creation, there was no sky. Bereshit Baruch came and said, So it's understood that you can't ask from before that time. Why does, God, why does Moshe have to say you're going to ask from the beginning of time? Yeah, I say you can ask from the time that there was a horizon, to the time that there was an earth, with a horizon from horizon to horizon, east to west. So why do you need that pasuk? So the Gemara says, So Lamin Hayom Asher Bo Alakim Adam Alar Islam Ali. So the Gemara says, For something completely different, Kid Rabbi Lazar, the Amr Rabbi Lazar, Adam Arisham and Aris, the Ad Kitsay Aris. When man was created, he was this humongous giant, super giant, um, which, which was when he went from the heavens to the earth. So this is what it means, Lamin Hayom Asher Bo Alakim Adam Alar Aris. Right, it means when the day that God made world man on the w- earth up to the sky, right? Shnema leman hayama shabarol him adam al aretz the cave and shesarach he niach hakadosh baruch hu alav umiato. Okay, hakadosh baruch hu put his hand on him and uh, and made him small, shrank him down. Shnema ocha v'kedem tzartani v'toshes olai kapecha. You made me forwards and backwards. This is used in, a, in another context to say that man was made as a twin, right? Achor v'kedem sartani. He made me forwards and backwards. Adam and Chava were fused to each other, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And when God separates woman, it's not simply from a schwanz, right? Not simply from a tail, but rather it's or a rib. It's or a side. It's my side, okay? It's actually there was a bump up in terms it's of. It's a, it's a, but it's basically this puzzle. Ocham v'kedem sartani. Front and backwards, you made me. Mm-hmm. You make me front and backwards. It means it was a two-sided, it was like a Siamese twin. Okay. So, but it says, the puzzle recording here now is Ocham v'kedem sartani. V'atoshes alai kapecha. You put your kapayim, you put your, uh, your um, what's palm. It, my palm upon me. Okay? And... So where right. did you get the idea, though, that the Adam was... It says, Rishon mina aretz. Adla Rakia, where, where do you get that? And this is from here. I'm Rabbi Yudam Adam Harisham is so for all of them, so for all of them. A man, the first man was from one end of the world to the other end of the world. Shinema Lemin Hayoma Shabuala Hima Damal Arts, Lemixeshma, and Rat Kseshmaim. This whole passage is understood. The Mixeshma and Kseshmaim is saying the God, man, man, which man? Not humanity. Man, Adam, was made, it can encompass the entire world. Came in Shasar, Hinech, the Shabuala, Yad of Allah, Umiato, Shinema Vatoshes, Olaika. Okay, so so what, so there are two there are two brises here. Let me just do one more piece, and we'll kind of close up here. There are two brises which say in two different ways: either man was made the min hayom It's man is straight up, and the other part brisa which says almost the same thing, which is quoted right after it, says man is from one end of the world to the other end of the world. Whatever it means, part of this pasuk is needed to tell me that man is is a humongo Adam. The Gemara just has one question. The Bryce's were a little contradictory. One, one Bryce says man fills the world from the heavens to the earth, or earth to the heavens. And one says he fills it from east to west. Well, what was man? Was man big this way or big that way? And the answer was it's the same thing. However, the, the, if, standing up or lying down. No, in other words, if man is as large as the earth, from the earth to the heavens... However tall that is, and of course they didn't know, and it's hard for us to imagine. So, sideways, man is going to fill the entire breadth of the horizon. Mm-hmm. The human being would see a rise in the horizon, would see that that human atom supergiant going from from east to west horizon and going all the way up to the sky. So, the, so the Gemara simply says that's simply chad Europe. 
Ihachi Kashikoya Dadi Idi Vidi Khachiurahu. Okay? It's one shear. But the bottom line is the Gemara says we have this Pasak to tell me a couple of things. The Pasak about Kishal Na right. tells me first of all only one person can ask. Second of all, you can only ask until the beginning of the world. Third of all, it's not just about the creation story, anything from the creation story afterwards. And and the, the rest sec and and it and talks about from, from one uh, one side of the of the horizon to the other. Some of that Pasak, either the first part of the second person or first part and first to the first Adam which was humongo man um, but whichever per part of the puzzle you use for understanding Adam being large and wide and big and encompassing the earth you've got left over to tell me that I can that I'm allowed to ask up until the creation story and only by Yochid by one person